All right, what's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be doing an old school technique. I'm doing a quick weave, but I'm going to be using the stocking and the napkin method. And if you've never seen it before, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned. The first thing I'm doing is taking my leave out. out. I know that sounds crazy, but yes, the part that's going to be left out because I'm not using a closure or a wig or any type of lace, I'm going to section out the hair that I want to be out. Usually I would braid my hair down, but this is the old school method. So I'm going to keep it a buck. And this is how I used to do it back in the days when I was learning how to do quick weaves. And just because this was how it was done at the time, I'm going to use some growth oil on my hair so my scalp can stay moisturized during this style. And I'm just taking some styling gel from ericajproducts.com and I'm slicking my hair down. I'm not going to put too much product on it because I'm not going to have this style very, very long. And I also just don't want to cake up my hair with a bunch of products and it's going to be a little bit itchy on the there that's another thing that i want to let you guys know if you use too much product on your actual hair underneath the cap it will get itchy very fast I want y'all to just follow along with me. This is so, so, so easy. Even if you're not a professional, even if you don't know what you're doing, or even if you're a beginner stylist, I feel like my tutorials are so in-depth and it's basic and it's straight to the point and it's also so informative that you can follow along. I'm not leaving out any parts. I'm not lying. I'm not doing anything to clickbait y'all. This is really all everything that I'm doing. So, this is, like I said, an old school technique, and I really do love this technique because no glue gets on your hair at all. And towards this video, I'm going to put how I took out my hair so easily. And this is also a new product I'm going to be releasing. This is our newest holding spray, and it's so amazing. I'm using this to help my cap get held down once I start the blow drying process. And what I'm going to do now is take the bonding glue you're not going to use lace glue. You're not going to use adhesive. You're not going to use none of that. You're going to take the bonding glue. I like to use the 30 second one. You can get that at every beauty supply store. And what I'm going to do is just trace out an outline of where the cap is going to have to lay. This is similar to when you do a ball cap method, you know, when you're doing laces. But since this is a quick weave, you're going to be doing your whole head and you're only not putting the glue on the area where your leave out is sectioned off at. Please, it, it, please excuse my daughter's toys in the background. I'm sorry. I'm a mom now. Remember when I told y'all it's not really that necessary to put so much product on your molding of your hair underneath the caps? It's because you can spray more holding spray and everything on the actual cap once the napkin and the caps is all, you, 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 you see, you see where I'm going with this. After you spray your cap down, what you're gonna do is just blow dry it until it gets dry. If your cap is not fully dry, what's gonna happen is once you start to cut, your cap is gonna just start rolling off your head and you're gonna to have to do a whole nother cap process and you don't wanna do that. So make sure that everything is dry before you start cutting because there's no coming back from that once you start to cut that cap off.
Once it's time to start laying your tracks down, when I'm doing a bob, I don't like to put the tracks so close together in the back. And the reason why I don't like to do that is because it's going to be too bulky. Once you start to put too many tracks close together in the back for a bob, it's not going to flow the way it needs to. So I like to skip a few spaces once I lay that first track, and then I'll start to lay my tracks going side to side all the way across. And if you have somebody that can help you cut the napkin, which is the white parts that you see, if you have somebody that can help you cut all of those pieces off in the back, like in the back of your head where you can't see it, you can allow them to do that. But I didn't have anybody to help me, so I just had to make it do it do. It was at this moment when I realized I did not know how the heck I was going to cut my hair. I don't know why I thought that holding the mirror up and then I was going to try to cut it with the other hand was going to work. But no. Then it clicked to me like, hmm, what can I do? Boom. Old school technique. Put your hair in a rubber band in the back. And then once you cut, your bob is going to fall exactly how it needs to. I'm not gonna lie even if you're a beginner i feel like this is like super easy for you to accomplish at home especially by yourself you don't have to be a professional at all because this is literally a dummy proof system once you put your hair in that ponytail and you cut it it's really hard for you to mess it up unless you just be completely sloppy and careless with it now what i'm going to do is just to start putting all the finishing touches on this install to complete the style, I'm going to start blending my leave out. Then I'm going to cut the remaining pieces to complete the bob look. And from there, I'm really just going to rock the style. I used my Erica J Sleek Sheen before I started to hot comb my hair. The Sleek Sheen is a heat protectant as well as a finishing spray. So it's a two in one. You can use it as a heat protectant to protect your hair from heat damage. Especially if you're natural, this is completely beneficial. Even if you're not natural, you still want to protect your hair from heat damage because heat damage will cause your hair to break off and fall out. 